Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about staying on top of things in JavaScript. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how will I keep up with all of the innovations in JavaScript so that I stay hireable or employable? And the short answer is ignore everything that isn't a major new dependency for, for the companies. Let me explain. So, as you all know, probably, there is no community in IT that moves as quickly and creates as much noise as JavaScript. And I say noise now, because if I were to say innovation, that would be giving the community slightly more credit than I think it's always due. When I say noise, I mean that sometimes we produce a package or an innovation or something like that that is really useful. Something that really makes the difference for the community. For the really large products, it's usually going to be things like Vue, Angular, React, and some of these frameworks. These are very important innovations as part of our community. And then you have people who create a lot of noise around how to build things or sort of supply things that really doesn't matter all that much. It really is, I'm not saying embarrassing, but to me it's sometimes it's slightly embarrassing how excited the JavaScript community can get around things that is at best just another flavor of doing something very slight. And there's no clear benefit to it apart from, oh, you can do things this now. Uh, you can do things this way now. And sure, that's fine. If you, uh, to, to me, I suppose I think of it as the fashion industry. I think it's, very, it's a very similar thing. If you want to wear, oh, you want to use that tool, you want to do that tool, it really doesn't matter. It's just a different garment and you're paying oh, how much for that? But sure, you can do it. It's completely pointless, but absolutely, go for it. And this thing is impossible for you to keep, it, keep up with. If you ask <clears throat> the fashion gurus and so forth how they keep up with all of the trends, most of them are going to say that they don't. Most of them are going, well, they might not say that out loud to you, but they will focus on one something within the industry because it's impossible for them to keep up because the industry is actually designed to move so quickly that you can consume around the year, every single day. You could, in theory, if you wanted to f catch up to all of the stuff, you would have to bankrupt yourself or be an extremely wealthy person. I don't even think that the most uh, famous and richest and most powerful people who are into fashion and these trends and so forth and all the things associated with it actually do follow all of it because it's impossible to follow all of it. And in JavaScript land, it's a very similar sort of thing. We're not moving as fast as the fashion industry, thank God, but we are, we are moving very, very quickly. And the way to solve this is to really just forget about the noise because you see some people who feel like they are stressed out over the fact that they need to keep up with everything in JavaScript land seem to have forgotten one of those basic fundamental things that it and it does happen it's something that it creeps up upon you it's the same thing that you forget when you watch too much television and you're sold an ID or you scroll through your news flows or so forth for too long and you start getting what I like to call hypnotized. You're starting to be pulled in into an, unco an a unconscious state of mind that makes you believe whatever that is that it is that you are being told. And that's a, a very dangerous situation to be in, especially when you're dealing with technical matters such as software development. Because if you just were to take a step back and ask, what are we actually using? What is universally used by all the companies around? You would start to see something. The thing that you would start to see is that the amount, the range of tools that are actually used by everybody, which is a, co it's a common dependency, 
is not that large, actually. There are more front-end frameworks than normally there are back-end frameworks for developers, but on average, we're talking about the top three or four, maybe. We're, talking, we're not talking about a whole grade of information, and you could pick one of these and be just fine. And that's the way you stay employable. You follow the trends and you follow the news and you, you look at the newsletters. I don't know, I, on average, I think I read maybe one or two articles every, each month from all the different newsletters that I get that seem sort of interesting because the rest of it is just, in my world, bullshit articles about a new way of working with React, a new way of doing something with Vue, a new way, oh, well, that's very new, how to do things with Svelte, etc., etc. And I be, And I don't have to go into every single thing because unless the things that are being told to me through these news channels is actually something that I know, this is going to affect my work process. This is going to be, this is something that the industry is actually adopting. Well, then it just comes down to personal interest. And some of the stuff I find really interesting and most of the stuff is not relevant to me for professional work, for work purposes. And I argue that if you want to just calm down a little bit, you should treat things the same way. You need to figure out what are the things that actually makes a difference in your work. Not what's cool, not what's trendy. What are the companies actually working with? What are we actually using? And I promise you, it's not WebAssembly. And statistically, it's not Svelte. It's a great tool, but we're not using it. So if you, if you are afraid that you're gonna lose your job if you don't keep up with it, you can, be, you can relax. You can relax. Because statistically, the things that we are all working with in frontend and JavaScript land, it's going to be it's going to be <laughs> React, Angular, and Vue, and this has been the case for quite a few years now. And there is no real change in sight right now that is going to indicate that oh, you're going to lose your job if you don't keep up. And here's another kicker: if you start seeing the trend moving in that direction, and I promise you that goes that takes a long time. It usually takes time before these things happen you're going to have time to adopt that tool and then be hireable just as the next person because it takes longer for the industry to migrate their value system from one thing to another than it takes you to learn that new thing. I promise you. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you're worried that you can't keep up with the JavaScript community for professional purposes, don't be. Because likely the reason why you feel stressed is because you have worked yourself up over the fact that there's so much noise. Because it is noise. A lot of people want to say things and they want to sell you things and showcase things. These newsletters and so forth, all of them, they are making some type of, they, they have some benefit coming from the fact that there's a lot of motion all the time. And motion is a good thing, but for your personal peace of mind, you should always remember that most of what you're hearing is the new big thing or the new trendy thing. It's not anchored in reality. It is someone suggesting something that is, some kind, sometimes it's absolutely false, and sometimes it's sort of true from their perspective. And you have to be able to figure out for yourself what the reality of the situation actually is. And the easiest way for you to do that is very simple. Go to the job postings and look up what people are actually hiring you to do. And I promise you, the vast majority of the things that you think that you need to know, you don't need to know. You don't have to play catch up and hang out on GitHub or NPM or C and see like whatever the latest new package is. It's pointless. It's only really relevant to the people who are either working with a use case that fits perfectly into that or the people who are really enthusiastic about these new innovations. But for professional purposes, you should simply slow down and focus on the things that actually makes, makes a difference in your work. Have a great day.